Welcome to the channel. If you are new, we are Zoe and Zah and we are always on the go to look for new places. Today we are in Bokolod city known as the city of smiles after a road trip to Sipalai. We decided to come to Bokolod after an invite by our good friends April and Alvin to celebrate the christening of their baby boy. Our Filipino friends and their family made us feel right at home so we want to thank April, Alvin and the family for looking after us. Unfortunately, our flight to Manila in a few days has been cancelled and changed to tonight so we have a small window of time to fit in all the highlights here in Bacolod. But we are going to make the most of it by trying the famous chicken in the cell and visiting the ruins. So let's jump right into it and see what Bacolod city has to offer. Alright guys, so we have arrived here at Manokan country which is the home of the best chicken in a cell ever here in the Philippines. It looks like it's just a street with loads of names in it. So there's Carmen, Bernadette, Umbau. I think it's like different owners of the place. We're gonna try Ida's in a cell, so let's go, let's go. Okay, so what is chicken in a cell? It is basically a variant of the very popular dish called lechon manok. So it's chicken marinated in a mixture of ingredients which just come out in this delicious sticky sauce and it's basted over hot coals in marinade. It's a common dish here in Visayas and it's a speciality here in Bacolod so we just have to try it. According to our local friends, um, Bacolod was actually the place where Inasau was like, created. It dates back to the 1970s. Anyway, um, we have got, we've ordered pa'a and pecho um, and I think there's like three main ones that Ate said the most popular is pa'a, pecho and pak pak is that right? Duh? pak pak and she's already given us our plates with our calamansi and our chilli which is often like the dipping sauce so I'm so excited for it to come we also got some garlic rice because rice is life no rice no power I think Inasau goes down well with beer so uh, I got myself with some samig light Gotta pick the San Miguel light because I'm driving, so only one for now. It's time. Oh my god, guys, look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. Ooh, it looks so juicy. So, um, this is the pa'a, which is the chicken leg, and the pecho, I believe it's the chicken breast. Um, so, it comes with a stick and it's still quite hot. And we have also ordered some garlic rice. Look, look how nice this garlic rice is. That's massive. Oh but rice is live anyway. So, it comes with chilli. I don't like chilli, so I'm gonna put that on the side and calamansi. So I normally put vinegar, vinegar, and soy sauce, which we call toyo. Wait, what do you call soy sauce? Toyo. 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 T-O-Y-O. Toyo. Toyo. And then, squeeze the calamansi. Like, this is just my way, I'm not sure how you, people actually do it here in the Philippines. Are you scared but you're gonna get a roasting? Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna get roasted? <laughs> but, and then mix it up and then you dip your meat in there. All right guys, so first bite. It's all just bone. <laughs> Mmm. You good? Mmm. Better than mango sand? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's really flavorful. Way better than mango sal. And I like mango sal as well. Mmm. Master of that. Mm. It's got like a really um sweet taste. It's almost like it's been honey glazed. I know there's no honey, but you know when you have honey glazed meat? It's kind of got that crispiness to it, but like kind of super sweet as well. But I'm not sure what makes it sweet. Sugar? Brown sugar's up? Maybe, yeah. Oh, it's really, really tasty though. And it's crispy, but also really soft in the middle. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna try with the soy sauce now. With my little dip. Have you got a name for the dip? Just soy sauce and vinegar, I think. Calamansi. dip. Okay. Mm. How's the rice as well? Mm, it's good. Really good. Mm. Yum. I'm never going to be able to have mango and sal and feel the same anymore because I just want this instead. So, mango and sal will never live up to this now. 
Except the halo halo. Except mango sauce halo halo. That is the best. Undoubtedly the best halo halo. If you think you know a better halo halo than mango sauce, like maybe your aunt has the best halo halo, invite me round and I will I will be happy to declare a new winner of my favourite halo halo. So let me know. I guess since we are here in the province, I'm gonna end up using my hand. Look at that. Filipino style. Ooh, look how juicy that is. Oh, it's nice. Dip it in the sauce. Mmm. That is nice. Lots of flavour. Very juicy. And you can taste the actual sweetness of it. I think there is sugar in it. Yeah, it's really Very nice. It's like it? quite sweet. But yeah, this is so nice. Better than Nando's. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, Nando's. Nando's is quite different. Mm. And the fav and the and the marinated and the marinade is completely different. Mm. It's like. Brazilian African marinade, isn't it? I think it's Portuguese, no? Is it Portuguese? But this is so simple. The ingredients, all you need is literally soy sauce, um, vinegar, and like calamansi. Flavor it up, add a little bit of sugar in it, pepper, and just grill it. Salted, it's so cheap as well. And this is only like 105 pesos for the petrol and 100 pesos for the pa'a. Mm. So. It's lit. Mm. Gonna have to finish this now, guys. All right, guys. So the inner cell was actually so nice. The two chicken it only cost us two hundred and five pesos, and the portion is quite big. And for the rice, we got garlic rice, which was thirty eight pesos and we got two thinking it's like a normal portion but the portion is like a bloody mountain <laughs> it's huge so we got two rice so i'm not sure how much that costs so 56 plus 205 that's about like 161 or something like that but anyway we're gonna head over to the ruins now the inner cell here at Ida's is actually so nice and if you are ever here in buffalo city come to Ida's Try the chicken in a cell and the staff is so nice as well guys they're so lovely honestly guys best chicken in a cell ever so that was the best chicken ever but we are now going to try and explore a little bit of bacolod before we have to head to the airport so unfortunately we were supposed to be leaving tomorrow but our flight got cancelled um which is a regular thing here in the philippines that we're having to deal with our flights get cancelled a lot and then it kind of changes our plans because the next flight they put us on was like five days away and we, we've got things that we've committed to. So the only other flight was to leave today. So unfortunately that means that our Bacolod city, going around the city has been cut short. We're having to rush it. So we're going to try and head to the ruins um, and check that out because that's another main thing to do here in Bacolod. They say this is the city of smiles. So far, I mean, the people we have met have all been very lovely mm. and very smiley but then equally we did kind of know them so I've always known they're smiley shout out uh, to Atty April and Atty Earl but and Fili Fili Alvin but Filipinos they're normally like happy anyway no matter what the situation is mm. but they're just happy exactly like, that's the best thing you just have to be happy in life isn't it yeah like even the little things uh, but yeah, we're gonna head to the ruins now check it out and then I think if we have any time to do anything else We'll try and do it. But if not, we're gonna have to head back to the guy who we rented this car off Which by the way has offered to take us to the airport because of our sticky situation because we said, you know We want to see Bacolod, but we don't have much time now because we need to give the car back And then we've got to rush to the airport and he was like, I'll drop you off at the airport So that's super nice. Just another example of how nice the people here are and the guy that we rented the car actually got their own like little tour but they also do like a lot of car rentals it's called j -Cube tours we'll leave the link in the description down below so check them out if you are ever here in Bacolod all right guys so we have made it to the ruins here in Bacolod Zara's just looking up some information yeah, what so, have you found uh, out so actually this uh ruins was actually is actually a remains of the Don Mariano 
family. Um, it's been constructed, the mansion has been constructed as a testament of his love for his Portuguese wife. Oh. Um, after she passed away in 1911, so this has been oh, up since the 1900s. A, a long time Yeah, then. so, yeah, from... That's but it looks really nice, like we're not even at the ruins yet and we've mm. just seen like there's a gap in the bushes and look at this like garden space. Yeah, it's very green. Look, it? it's like perfect. And it, it's 440 hectares, so that's very big. How do you say that, sorry? Hectares, hectares, hectares. Hector. Hector, hector. <laughs> but you can, as you can see, look, it's just pristine. Mm. And then you we've can see got the remains of the ruins some there, remains look, there the remains as well. So that's but cool. I think, I'm not sure if the benches are quite remains that like I don't think so. I think they've been put there. But look, oh, that's amazing. As well. They're all perfectly uh, distanced. Yeah. Height. Oh yeah, I can't guess. Cause it's like tall, small, tall, yeah. small, tall, small. It's very nice, isn't it? But look how cute they are, though. Do you want this her. garden? I do. When we get our mansion. <laughs> Sun at all. So the entrance fee to enter here is 150 pesos per person for an adult. I can't remember what the children and senior citizen and that is, it's a little bit less. But that's quite expensive for entrance fees here in the Philippines. Mm. However, I guess it's because they've got to upkeep it and I guess it's like, it's hard to maintain it. So I guess that's why it's a little bit more pricey. But is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. But let's show you the ruins. Okay guys, so the architecture here is absolutely amazing. Um, I love the like open windows and they're massive windows too. It just looks so grand and it's amazing that it looks like this. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. No, it's actually a ruin. There's nothing upstairs. Yeah. Except the stairs. But like there's, I've never seen anything quite like this um, here in the Philippines. It's really unique. Um, it's also, they've kind of made it a bit of an experience. So over here, it's like another part of the ruins and you can actually have dinner here. I think it's, I think it's 400 pesos co uh, consumable. And then they've also got like live singers and stuff. So it's a really nice atmosphere here as well, which is really, really cool. But I think we're gonna head back inside now and then head to the other half that we've not looked at yet. And then the fountain. Just behind me here, guys, there's actually a ruins of rocks with a tree spurting out the top of it. I've never seen that before. It's amazing. It's so cool. It's really nice, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful, yeah. actually. It's very well kept, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really nice. That is just incredible. <laughs> a tree out of ruins. I don't understand. Whoa. Oh, didn't, oh. didn't you want to see a white lady in a well? No, not in a well. Oh, that was Nino. That was Nino, Nino, yes. Nino, if you're watching, it's what do you be a think white of lady this well? You okay, Nino? <laughs> it's a cool well though, look at that, guys. Nice. Probably the same age as the building. I think, I think it's a bit older. Oh, a bell as well, wow. That's so cool. And look at the statue, guys. Do you think that's the lady? Maybe. Is Might that... be the Portuguese wife. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or is that the white lady from the well? Or from the well? Maybe. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're just finishing up here at the ruins now. Honestly, I'm actually really su surprised. I wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting yeah, this. Yeah, it was just the ruins. Like, you know how it was in the Gatsby, you know, them. Yeah, I thought like you'd just go and you'd just have a look and then yeah. I didn't know it'd be such an experience and that it'd be so well maintained and it's actually really interesting and fascinating and just walking around it's actually beautiful as well like just the gardens, the trees it, and there's people just constantly gardening which is probably why it looks so amazing and I also didn't realise there was like an experience to it that you could eat here you could, there's also guided tours which are just like I think it's included in the price right? I think so yeah There's guides here which will tell you all the history if you want to know everything uh, but yeah, super, super impressed. Um, I think we're gonna head off now after cleaning our shoes because we're wearing white shoes and Zara took us in a swampy puddle. <laughs> it was an accident. Thanks, Zara. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow. Is that someone having a wedding? Yeah, 
think no, I think that's the uh, photo shoot, I think. That's definitely someone in a very fancy dress. Wow, maybe we shouldn't go further in case no. there is a wedding. But look at the ruins. It's oh. very nice, isn't it? Imagine having your pictures done here though. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Amazing. Ah. Kiss. Kiss. Okay guys, so it's actually a few days later and we are now in Manila and we have got a story to tell you. That is why we did not finish yeah. off the Bacolod video because we had a trauma. So we'll tell you about that in a minute. But first things first, let's talk about our first impressions of Bacolod City. So my first impression of Bacolod City is actually quite, it's big and it's yeah. busy. I thought it was like, I'd say, were you expecting more province style? Yeah, I thought it would be more province style, but it's more busier than Ilo Ilo. Yes, But I kind of like um, Bacolod. It's like, would you say it's like Domaguete, basically? Yeah, very similar yeah. vibes to Domaguete. And it's the, the traffic is mad. It's madness. Like, there's so, there's so many lorries, like, carrying the sugar canes. Um, oh, yes. Like, just when you overtake the lorries, you're just so close, and there's so many motorbikes but and we still the go. sugar canes that's the only place i've ever seen that in the philippines mm. and the lorries are like such a strange style as well and i think that's very unique to the philippines too i've never seen that kind of lorry anywhere and i've never seen so much sugar cane in my life so that is crazy um we had a very personal experience in bacolod yeah. because we knew so many people there like it's actually crazy so we were obviously we used to work with april and alvin back in the uk they're ofws just like many other filipinos and when we were at the christening we also met Earl who is also a nurse at the same hospital that yeah. we worked at and he even told us there's even more people we know from Bacolod we didn't <laughs> know we nice. knew so many people from Bacolod <laughs> um, but yeah it was really nice we felt really looked after the whole time and um, actually we can't wait to go back to go again back. yeah because there's like so many things a yeah. lot. there's so many things to do but um, basically like the day after we arrived there there was actually a festival yes. and we didn't know anything about it it looked wild yeah i mean there was even paint all over the sarah's buses all over people's cars everything um and even days after the paint was still on the buses it's basically like up north in bacolod yes um so we're probably gonna try that out next year so uh yes be yeah. ready for that <laughs> but yeah we've got a sip -a video coming for you and we also have definitely got to go back and explore more because it's definitely an underrated and undiscovered place uh compared to a lot of destinations in the Philippines. and there's not really that much um foreigners there to yeah be we didn't see and anyone. it's right next to my province so yeah not far like a ferry away yeah right? just a ferry away um but it would not be a bacolod video without trying the piaya so i'm gonna try it now so this is the original one. We actually got this at the airport just before we left Bacolod. So I've never actually tried this before. It looks kind of strange. It's broken quite a bit. It almost looks like, I don't know, like a pancake, but crumbly and crusty. I have no idea what that filling is. Hmm, very interesting. It's like a pastry, but I really like the texture and I do like what's in the middle. I just can't tell what it is. Zah, what's in the middle? Okay, so Zah just Googled and the filling is brown sugar and molasses. Molasses? Zah molasses? Molasses. Molasses. Something like that. Anyway, I'd give that a 9 out of 10. On to the disaster story. After our flight to Bacolod, Everything went fine. Uh, we booked a condo for five nights in Manila. But when we got to Manila, Zar tried to find the address of the condo. And although the address was there, there was no building name. But when you put the address into Google, it did come up with a building called like a Kaya condo building. So we were like, oh, okay, that's the name. We get there and it's an abandoned building. Uh, the security guards were there were like yeah this is abandoned and then there was a condo building next door so we thought oh maybe it's that one and they said no it's only long-term people here only so then we were like oh this is a bit strange so we were very lucky that our really good friends jan and Anne were in the area and they came and picked us up immediately so again thank you for that um and it turns out that we booked a scam condo 
and it took us four hours to sort it with booking.com. It was booked through booking.com. Uh, it didn't have any reviews, uh, and the reason it didn't have any reviews was because it had only been added that day. It said new to booking.com. So Zara thought that's why there was no reviews. Uh, turns out we won't be doing that again. <laughs> but yeah, it all got sorted. We got put in a hotel by booking.com and now we're in a new place in Manila. Anyway guys, I think we're gonna leave the video there and end it because we're gonna run some errands now in here in Manila. Yeah. So if you do see us in Manila, don't be shy. Come and approach us, we're friendly. Yeah, we'll the, have amount, a chat. the amount of comments we get, like <laughs> we saw you in McDonald's today and we're like, okay, come say hi. <laughs> don't be shy, we don't bite, I promise. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna end it there. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down and below. Press that notification bell. Oh, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.